Good everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. First tonight, the latest from Sea Isle, where a recovery effort has been ongoing since about 2 this afternoon. That's when the balcony of a condominium collapsed on construction workers, one of whom became trapped. Nikki Dementri spoke to residents who heard it all. Just total chaos, just people screaming. Chaos in Seattle City. That's how Joy Fioki describes the moments after a balcony collapsed at the Spinnaker condo complex off of 36th Street and the boardwalk. Fire officials say it left a man trapped and two others injured. I called 911 right away. And uh, it's just 20 minutes later, I heard him, him screaming again. Just this get, get it. I guess he was saying get it off of me. And, um, I've never heard anything since. Just before 2.30 Friday, officials say two construction workers were on the eighth floor balcony when it fell, pinning a third worker on the seventh floor balcony. Eric Hupperich was inside the building on break in a lower level unit when it all happened. We felt it like through our bodies, like shaking, and it was, it was like a really, really like loud. Well, boom. First responders from Cape May and Camden counties, as well as at the state level, worked together in recovery efforts to free the man trapped on the seventh floor. Officials add the two workers on the eighth floor suffered minor injuries. They will breach a hole in the wall, stabilize the concrete that is uh, trapping this victim, and then we'll safely remove him. Several large cracks in the concrete could be seen from the ground. Later in the evening, crews were seen putting up wood planks, it appears, to stabilize the building. This after fire officials noted the balcony was showing signs of stress. We're figuring the balconies weigh between 11 and 15,000 pounds apiece. The nine story complex built in the 70s, we're told by police, was evacuated. Now, officials tell me that the private contractors were working to prep and paint the building earlier Friday. In Sea Isle, Nikki Dementri, CBS News, Philadelphia.